I got started when I was 13. I was really young and the people that bought me were people that were looking for, you know, child fetishes. There was like 15 of them in a room and I was really scared. He cut me with a knife to be able to penetrate me. I was only five. I was crying because I was scared and he had sex with me. And that was my first time. I still had on my school uniform. Men who come here to abuse children in Cambodia have 99.9% .9 of the time already abused children in their own country. Men will actually fly into Atlanta, get on the internet, say I want a boy who has no hair on his head, no hair anywhere, I want him to look like he's 13, I want him to be no taller than 5 foot 2, order it, show up here, have sex, and be gone. Driven by the internet. It's very difficult for us to define the problem of child pornography to the American public because it's something we obviously can't show them. There are some of the acts that I couldn't even describe to you against children so young that no normal person could look at that without being disturbed. It ain't about sex. It just be about business. That's it. Once you get them to go the first time, then you've got a better chance of getting them to keep going. I was really nervous and I was really scared. And he was holding his gun and shot me. You cannot arrest 11, 12, and 13 year olds and charge them with prostitution. You cannot criminalize children. I think people view the prostitution like a victimless crime. Most of the girls that we come across nowadays are 13, 14, 15 years old. I know these girls didn't wake up one morning and say, I want to be a prostitute today. There are millions and millions of photos of children who are being sexually abused. Nobody knows who these children are. And it raises the question to us, are there that many pedophiles out there? Or is something else happening?